I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the octopods underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Oh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. It is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Ooh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello, we're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? <laughs> Getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic Range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Now. Now. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. No whales, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there, Norwals. Are you all right? Help us, please. We are trapped in here. We can't get out. <gasps> I know that voice. Boris? Ah, Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes, until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ! <laughs> Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> A small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go, 
time. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. Ah, it's caught on something. Yes, that did it. There it is. Ah, thank you. Much better. Now that you've got air to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's Icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak will need the Gup D. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. <laughs> Real stuck. That ice is just too thick. <laughs> Everything stops spinning. Easy does it. Oh no, the breathing tube. Oh, it is no use. We're back where we started, and we will soon need air again. We're not giving up on you, Boris. Octonauts, we've tried the guts, but we need something even stronger to break through this ice, and we need it now. Captain, we could melt the ice with a blowtorch. Good idea, but it would take too long. Hmm. <laughs> How about blasting it with a sonic slicer? The ice is too thick for that. I've got an old pirate cannon under me bed, but I'm all out of cannonballs. That's it! The bowhead whales! Tough enough to smash through just about anything! Good thinking, Tulip. Now all we have to do is find our new bowhead whale friends again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs! Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. Howdy, y'all! We need your help. Three narwhals are trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashy. How much longer? Woohoo! Look! Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Barnacles, my dear old friend. Thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris. We're nothing. Always glad to help a fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowheads. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partners! Are you sure 
This is the place, Captain. I'm sure, Quasi. The Arctic Polar Scout emergency post is out here on the sea ice. Huh? Ah. Yeah. Aha! There it is. Let's go. I'll just knock on the... Oh! Captain Barnacles. It's good to see you back in the old post, sir. Quasi, Peso, meet Tracker. Tracker, meet... The Octonaut guys. I mean, the Octonauts. I'm Quasi. And I'm Peso. Welcome to the Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker's in charge here, and he does an excellent job. I was trained by the best. That's you and Captain Barnacles. Yep. Before he was captain of the Octonauts, he trained Polar Scouts like me for the emergency service. What kind of work do you do at this post, matey? Okay, this is my listening station. When someone sends out a call for help in the Arctic, it's my job to hear it and make sure they get the help they need. And that's why we're going to set up a connection between this emergency post and the Octopod. So we can work together to help as many creatures as possible. Ready to test the link? Ready, sir. Dashi here, Captain. Tracker, meet Dashi. She's our computer expert aboard the Octopod. Nice to meet you, Tracker. Really nice to meet you. So, how's the signal? Good. OK, that's a call for help. And where's it coming from? It's, well, that's weird. It's not coming from the Arctic. It's coming from the opposite side of the world. The Antarctic. Yeah, and, whoa, Captain, it's coming from an old ice research station that's been shut down for years. So there shouldn't be anyone living at that station at all. But someone's sending a call for help. And someone needs to answer it. Tracker, stand by. Yes, sir. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to answer a mysterious call for help from the other side of the world. Tracker? Right, sir. I'm sending through a map now. Here we are in the Arctic. The call for help came from this ice research station in the Antarctic. And who lives at the station? Tracker says it's been shut down for years. And nobody's heard a peep from it until now, mateys. Dashi, set a course for the Antarctic. Tracker, we'll keep you posted. Cool. I mean right, sir. And good luck. Tracker out. Activating launch. Welcome to Antarctica. Octonauts to the GUP S. We've come all the way from the Arctic to the Antarctic, but really, what's the difference? Ah, oh, there are lots of differences, Quasi. For one thing, polar bears live only in the Arctic. And penguins live in the Antarctic. And just look at the map. The Arctic is north. The Antarctic is south. When it's winter in the Arctic, it's summer in the Antarctic. The Arctic is a frozen ocean surrounded by land. The Antarctic is a frozen land surrounded by ocean. They're both too cold for cats. But the Antarctic is even colder than the Arctic. The Antarctic is the coldest place on Earth all year round. <sighs> Me whiskers are shivering just thinking about it. Hot to cook a warm -up, warm -up. Hot chocolate. That should warm me up. Thanks, Tunip. Phew! What was that? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, we're surrounded. And one of them's heading straight for us. Hey, <laughs> son? Uju! Octonauts, this is my cousin, Uju. He's an Adeli penguin. What are you doing out here? We're making a big once a year journey from the sea back to our nesting grounds on the land. That can't be an easy trip. No, 
But I've seen so many amazing things along the way. <laughs> Look at the beautiful shape of this ice. Uju, please keep up with the rest of the group. Oh, but look who I found! Cousin Peso. So nice to see you. I wish we had time to talk. We have to get to our nesting ground soon. And after this big swim, we still have a long march across the land. I understand. Goodbye, Uju. Safe journey, everyone. Thanks, Bye, Peso. Peso. Say hello to your family for us. Ah, oh, you penguins make the Antarctic seem a little friendlier, matey. <laughs> everyone, it's time to take the Gup S on to land. Settle in and get comfortable. We've got a long trip ahead of us. We should be getting close to the ice research station. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. It's difficult to see anything out there. Who knows, mateys? With all this wind and snow, the station may have disappeared without a trace. Captain! Flashing light! Straight ahead! I think we've found our research station. Let's see if anyone's home. In all this wind and snow, it's easy to get lost. So everyone, hold on to this rope. That way we'll stay together. Everybody ready? Wait, where's my... Hatter cocker? Thanks, matey. See you later. All right, Octonauts. Let's move out. Only one bite out of it. Somebody had to eat and run. And somebody's been filling up a lot of notebooks. Uh, getting closer. Very loud now. Must be deep down in the ice. Oh! Uh, what was that? Everybody out. Here, grab on. Is everyone okay? Safe and sound, Captain. But we still don't know who called for help. Look, Captain. Tracks. Hmm. These tracks are the paw prints of an Arctic fox. But that doesn't make sense, Captain. Arctic foxes don't live in the Antarctic. Let's see where these lead. I don't believe it. Professor Natquick? <laughs> I don't believe it. Barnacles. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call for help? Yes, yes. I was beginning to think that nobody heard me. <laughs> Octonauts, this is Professor Natquick. When I was a young polar scout, he taught me how to do field research in the Arctic. And I'm happy to see you remember what I taught you. How to recognize tracks, how to listen for sounds that others miss, and... <laughs> <laughs> How to dodge one of my surprise snowballs. <laughs> Very good, Barnacles. Thanks. But what are you doing so far from home, Professor Natquick? 
I came here to do research in the Antarctic many years ago. No one knew you were still here. My radio broke long ago, but I couldn't leave. I'm on the edge of amazing discovery, but it may soon be lost. Lost? Why? Follow me. Click, click. This is why I called for help. <gasps> I realized that the ice was moving and pulling the station into this enormous ice chasm. When it falls in, all of your work goes with it and disappears forever. As you can see, it could fall in at any moment. Then we've no time to lose. Tweak? We can pull this ice research station to safety faster and you can save a bunch of munchy, crunchy, frozen carrots. Octonauts, let's do this. Yeah. Uh, uh, activate snow spikes. Thank you, Octonauts. You saved the station and my life's work. Now I can share my amazing discovery. Follow me. Click, click. I always pounce on the chance to investigate a strange new sound. When I arrived in Antarctica, I discovered this. <gasps> the bloop sound. But who or what was making it? That was question. I tracked the sound deep in the ice until finally I discovered that the mysterious bloop is made by... A humongous blooptopus. No, it's... A gigantic bloopzilla. No. A monstrous blooperoceros. No, no. The bloop sound is made by enormous ice quakes. Ice quakes? Yes, yes. It's the sound the ice makes when it breaks and moves. Congratulations, Professor Nepquick. That's quite a... Shh, listen. Do you hear that? What? I'm afraid we don't have your Arctic Fox hearing. Ah, yes. Here, listen through speakers. Ah, yes. I hear it now. But what is it? Mm, sounds like the pitter-patter of lots of little feet. No, no. It's not Peter Potter, it's a Woodle Waddle. A Woodle Waddle? But what Woodle Waddles? My cousins, the Adeli penguins, they Woodle Waddle. They're heading back. And they could be heading straight for the ice chasm. Captain, with the wind blowing all the snow around, my cousins might not see the chasm before it's too late. They could fall in. We need to warn them to stay back. Everyone, to the Gup S. Cap, the flares are ready to go. They should be bright enough so the Adelie penguins can see them even through the snow. Good work, Tweak. Now, we just have to make sure our timing is right. Dashy? The radar shows that the Adelie penguins are close to the chasm. All right, Peso. Let's send up the flares. On my count. Three, two, one. Ooh, Ooh what's that? Did you see those lights? Attention, Adelie penguins. This is your cousin Peso speaking. It's Peso. Quiet, everyone. What's he saying? Shh. Please stay where you are and don't go any further, or you'll fall into an ice chasm. Everybody, stop! All right. Thanks, Peso. We'll stay where we are, but we still have to get to our nesting grounds. Is there some way that they can go around the ice chasm? The ice chasm is miles long. Going around it would take a long time. Captain, they're already tired from their long trip from the sea onto the land. If they have to travel extra miles around this chasm, I'm not sure all of them will make it. Then we'll just have to find a way to get them over this ice chasm. A bridge might work, but what can we make it out of? There's nothing but snow and ice in this scurvy place, and it takes more than that to build a bridge. I need something to warm me up. Ah, look, it's so cold that my hot chocolate freezes as soon as I pour it. Quasi, you're a genius. I am? Cap, I know just how we're gonna make a bridge. First, we drill a tunnel through the ice. 
and the heated drill will melt the ice into water as we go. Then the water will pour out from our side of the chasm, and as it hits the other side, it'll freeze up. Just like my hot chocolate. Octonauts, let's make an ice bridge. Penguins, you can start crossing the bridge. But please be careful. Come on, Udo. Is everyone safe and accounted for? Yes, Captain. I believe everyone's here. Uh, oh, except... Hold on. Where's Uju? Oh. Wow. Uju! Hi, Peso. Look at these amazing icicles. And over here, oh, the ice is waving. You need to hurry and cross the bridge now. Yes, quick, quick. You never know when another ice crack could hit. Come on, Udo. No time for stopping. Speed waddle. All right, I'm coming. Ice crack. <laughs> Wait, I hear rustling sound from somewhere in the ice chasm. Yes, yes, that's definitely the sound of penguin flippers. He's alive. Oh, how can we get him out? If only we could fly. Poor Uju. Don't worry, penguins. We'll save him. Octonauts, one of us will have to go down after him. I'm ready to go, Captain. I'd like to go. Uju may be hurt and need medical help right away. Agreed. Peso. The rest of the team will lower you down to Uju. And we'll pull both of ye back up safe and sound. That's a promise, matey. Octonauts, let's set up the rescue rope. All ready here. Ready. 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 On rope, going down. <laughs> I'm down here! Yes, I'm coming for you! More rope, Captain! Did I fall all the way to the bottom? No, you were lucky. You landed on a ledge. Are you hurt? My flippers are fine, but I, I can't move my foot. Hold on. I'm almost there. <sighs> Peso! Ah! Ah! <Would> you... <laughs> <laughs> Good. Hold your positions. Peso, are you okay? Well, Captain, I'm at the end of my rope. And so is Uju. You got me! Yes, I've got you. Captain, bring us up. Well done, Peso. Octonauts, slow and steady with the rope. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Octonauts. And especially you, Peso. I've never seen flippers that fast. Just doing my job. And now your foot needs a proper bandage. <laughs> it's time to finish our trip back to the nesting grounds. Oh, dear. Uju shouldn't waddle on his foot for a few more days. I think we can help with that. Forward, waddle! Goodbye. Goodbye. So, how fast can this thing go? Let's find out, matey. <laughs> Fantastic! Well, Professor Natquick, are you ready to get back to work? Oh, yes, yes! Oh, but I'm afraid this old ice research station is falling apart. Hmm, what do you think, Twig? Well, 
is definitely a fixer-upper. So, let's fix her up. Just give me about eight weeks in two days. <laughs> this is wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Glad you liked it. I call it the Gup Eye. The eye is for us. I've put in solar panels and these turbines to harness the wind for power. The whole station is on snow treads now, so you can move it away from any ice chasm that suddenly opens up. <laughs> but that's not all. Go ahead and raise her up, Dashy. <laughs> these legs can lift the station up high if the snow gets too deep. <laughs> Incredible. If you like the outside, you'll love what's inside. Come on. Your very own hot chocolate machine. But that's not the best new feature. It's not. We've set up special pole-to-pole -pole communications. Dashy. This is the Arctic Polar Scout Emergency Post. Tracker here. Tracker, meet Professor Natquick of the Antarctic Ice Research Station, now known as the Gup Eye. Good to meet you, Tracker. Ooh, listen. A mysterious new sound. I hear it too. But who or what is making it? That is question. Oh, I believe it was the sound of a humongous slurptopus. Whoops. Uh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, Professor, now that mystery is solved, how would you like a cup of hot chocolate? Oh, yes, yes. Yes, please. Me too. I'm ready for seconds. <laughs> Good work, Tweak. Oh, yummy. <laughs> <laughs>